Hi guys, this is Michael and welcome back to the video. So smartphones are an essential part of our everyday life. Apart from calling and texting, we do social media, surfing the web, taking photos and videos and much more. Now smartphone makers are making better and better versions of their phone by improving the RAM, a better processor, a better camera, and you get it. But there's another set of smartphone makers who go out of the way, do things that no one does. They take the road not taken and hence are called crazy at times. In this video, we have one such phone called the Changhong H2. Now the unique feature of this phone is it can detect and analyze anything and everything and give you details about the chemical composition and other things. Just like the tricorder from Star Trek. So keeping science fiction aside, all of this feature is done by the inbuilt spectrometer in the phone. Now what is a spectrometer and how does it work? Now spectrometers work by sending a pulse of near infrared light to any object that causes the materials in an object to vibrate and the reflected light gives us the chemical composition of the object. The spectrometer in the phone is based on a $250 handle device called the Skio Molecular Sensor which is made by a company called Consumer Physics. Now according to the promotional video of the company, you can calculate the sweetness of strawberries or even calculate body fat percentages just by pointing your phone at your triceps and the sensor in the phone will do the job for you. The company even claims that you can calculate the chemical composition of medicines, hence be safe from fake and counterfeit products. Apart from all these features, the phone is also a fully functional Android smartphone with octa-core processor, an extra large 6 inch screen, fingerprint scanner and a 16 megapixel camera. So they've put a price tag of 2 million yuan, so around $432 and will be available for purchase later this year. Well, if you ask me, the phone is pretty interesting with these cool features, but at the end of the day, how many takers will be there is still a matter of question. But the spectrometer in the phone has been tested in controlled laboratory conditions and how well will it perform in everyday activities and in regular day-to-day -day life is still yet to be seen. What do you think of this phone? Is it a practical option? Do let me know in the comment section below. So that was all about the Changhong H2. Do hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Also subscribe for more contents like these. Thanks a lot for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.